Hey guys, Marmalade here. How's everybody doing today? Uh, thank you so much for checking in on this video today. Uh, I apologize for the lighting. It's not normally the time of day I film. It's between 11 and 12 and the sun is directly above. So I tried about nine different angles and no matter what, my face is shaded. So I guess you'll just have to deal with it and uh, it's not gonna be that bad. But I wanted to go over my ULA circuit pack. Uh, I've been asked multiple times about it. What do I think? Um, so a few thoughts on that uh, before we go into the specs of the pack and, and my thoughts. Um, as you guys, if you follow me at all, I'm a little over four years into backpacking. And when I first started, I did like most beginners. I just went to REI and I didn't know what I was doing. And it's a good place, half my stuff's from REI, but uh, I, tr I ended up buying an expensive Gregory and then eventually an Osprey pack and got uh, supposedly custom fit both times. And uh, in the store, I put a little weight, you know, they had those like uh, bags full of beans you can put in the pack. And I walked around a little bit and felt comfortable. But when I actually got in real world uh, out there for three, four, five, six days, with a heavy pack because my stuff wasn't uh, light then. Uh, my packs did not fit me correctly and they just killed me and I had to return them both. So I was a little distraught about trying to get a pack that fits me right because it's just like shoes and everything else, right? It's personal, there is no right or wrong pack. And so, and those packs were on the heavy side. So um, I had some friends that had the ULA circuit and at the time, um, about two and a half years ago when I got it, I didn't know much about it, but uh, I was a little bit hesitant because uh, ULA is based in Utah. It's an internet company. They do sell in some stores, but basically um, I was ordering it over the phone and I talked to an amazing guy, Chris, who's their customer service guy. I got to talk to a live person and I mean, he knows his packs. He lit I got fit literally over the phone. He's like, well, how tall are you? How's your torso? Are you thick? Are you thin? Uh, chest size, all that kind of stuff and just how I'm built. And um, he picked out, I think, a large torso size on the pack and I forget the belt size. They have it all in the system. So if you reorder, which I might uh, and go to a smaller or lighter pack, but if you reorder, they know what you ordered in the past. And so um, we ordered it up. I felt confident because he knew what he was doing and they had a good return policy. And I'm telling you, uh, and I'll post a link below for my, my unboxing of the video I made. And I looked at it, it's in August, 2017. So I've had a little, about two and a half years, a little over that. And uh, uh, I've got over 2000 miles between uh, I my lone trips by myself on the PCT out in the desert section. I first started with my PCT section hiking group for meetup. So I did tons of trips with that, that group and then started doing it by myself. And then I did uh, 903 miles, as you know, last year on my through hike attempt. So I've got well over 2000 miles was what I figured out. So I think I um, have good grounds to speak on this, this pack. So um, let's go over the specs real quick. I know they're not very exciting, but at least you can know the size and the weight and things like that. Okay, so first off is the overall weight, which is 41 ounces. It comes with a lot of clip in or out uh, attachments. I took a few out, but not enough to really matter that much. So I think I started at, at 41 ounces and it is 68 liter max. But honestly, that 68 liter, when you were to roll this all the way up, it's got a very tall sieve at the top. Um, nobody does that. So, I mean, mine's usually rolled down here, even with the top. I would bet you I use this pack as a 50 to 55 liter pack, I would say. Uh, and now that my things have gotten lighter and smaller, I, I, I could still use probably even a smaller pack, but that's probably the liter size that I, I use when I'm, uh, at least that's how much I fill up when I'm using my pack. All right, so one of the main things and the reasons why I bought this pack is the max load capacity where it's comfortable is 35 pounds. And I've told you before, my concern was uh, some of the ultralight packs, uh, you save a lot of weight in the pack weight itself, but they don't handle the weight very well. Uh, you know, do you, now that my pack's getting lighter, I won't have that issue much. The one area I was concerned with on my through hike specifically was the Sierras because I'd have, you know, micro spikes and ice axe and my bear canister, maybe an extra layer or two of clothing. So I was just worried about, the, you know, with, and there's some very long uh, food carries there, uh, right out of Kennedy Meadows. Uh, if I don't go very fast, especially if I get to start this June 20th, I'm not going to be in great hiking shape. So, you know, I'm not going to be able to do 20s a day. So it might take me eight or nine days to get, uh, past Mount Whitney and over uh, Forester Pass and out to Lone Pine for my first resupply. So that's a lot of weight. And, and thank goodness you, the water is everywhere so you don't have to carry as much water weight. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of food. So that was my main concern was the, uh, the what the max capacity comfortable it could handle. So that was important to me. Uh, this pack comes in nine different possible colors. I got orange way before his marmalade. I love orange. So uh, you can also do custom packs. It costs extra, of course, but you can do custom colors and panels and do whatever you want, customize it. So that's kind of a cool feature. So it has two kinds of shoulder straps. There's the regular kind, which is what I have, or if there's people that are bigger chested men or women, they have more of an S. I forget, I think they call it S, but it kind of goes around 
and down so um, it goes over the shoulders but then instead of going straight over the shoulders like this uh, it goes round and down and cuts in that way so that's kind of a nice feature it has four adult torso sizes including children's size which i think is a big bonus they offer six hip belt sizes which is great i think they're they're starting to stretch out that size for uh, more everyday people and uh, one of the coolest things i think is you can have your trail name or your regular name embroidered on your pack it's like a 10 or 15 dollar upcharge but you can do that also you know you guys have probably seen my pack but i sent this into them after after the fact and um had um had my patch sewn on there they only charged me five dollars i ironed and sewed it on i wanted it to be done professionally because i didn't trust my work so what does it cost Right now, I think on the site, it's $255. I paid $225 in August of 2017, so I think that's great. It hasn't gone up that much over two and a half years. I think a great value for what you're getting. So what are my overall impressions of this pack so far? I've got, like I said, over 2,000 miles and uh, over two and a half years. So uh, I'm gonna go over the things that I really enjoy and appreciate about this pack, and then I'll go over a few things that I dislike, but honestly, there's not much I dislike, so it's mostly a good review with this. Um, I have always said I'll be honest with you whether I'm on trail or with gear and remember this is all personal stuff right because this pack may not fit you right uh, or you may not like the weight or whatever the look or whatever it is the way it rides um, most people really like this pack but it's all personal preference I'm just telling you my personal opinion if I had a bad experience with with something I would tell you so I'm very honest about that and um, again it's coming from a personal experience and that's it so with that in mind uh, let's go over some of the good qualities I like about this pack Okay, before I get into the things I like, I wanted to show you too. Uh, you guys may have noticed this, but I got a couple attachments from uh, Justin's UL. He's a guy that's a backpacker. He lives um, kind of north of Big Bear and um, great guy. He's a backpacker and um, he knows backpacker stuff. He makes these by hand and many, many backpackers have this stuff. So I have this ultralight. It almost weighs nothing. You can wash it. Ultralight uh, holder for my water bottle. This bottle is just under a liter. Um, I also bought this other pouch which i intended it has an outer pouch which it has my uh, chapstick in it right now and the inner pouch was going to be for my cell phone at the time uh because i vlog i wanted to have it close here but i found it as, as it was kind of a tight fit like it was very hard especially if i want to pull that really quick and get an animal or something quickly um i really wrestled with getting my phone in and out of here it's just a personal thing um i don't even have the plus size uh, iphone i have just now i just have the 11 pro but uh, so I stopped using it for that. Uh, I put my sunglasses in here sometimes. I may actually take this whole thing off when I continue. Uh, it weighs nothing, but I can put my chapstick in my waist belt. And um, what I'm learning too, as I've learned is, yeah, some things are weight and space, but some things are just less is more. I just want more things. I should say I want less things to have to handle and touch and maneuver and open and close, all that stuff. I wanna have just be able to put things away and go. So I may keep this, I may not, I'm not sure. It kind of gets in the way of my um, garment a little bit, but we'll see. I, I'm not undecided on that, but these are two things I attached uh, separately. You can get him, his stuff on, uh, it's Justin's UL on Etsy. Okay, so with that said, uh, my number one thing I liked about it was the way this handles weight. It's very comfortable. Even uh, 2,000 miles in, this thing has not uh, fallen apart. I've had nothing tear, nothing fray, nothing. It's just a very solid pack. I'm, I'm careful with my pack, though. I don't just, the last, a lot of people I hike with just chuck them. When, they're get, when they do, you know, they get to the water, just chuck them right into rocks and stuff. I don't do that. I take care of my pack. And of course, that's like everything, you know, your stuff will last if you take care of it. But I really like how comfortable my pack is, how well the weight, uh, the waist belt supports my pack and gets the weight off my shoulders. It's got load lippers on the side right here to get pull your pack closer to your body. So I really like that. It's very adjustable. You can see there's a million straps on this. And for being a fairly light pack, it's got a lot of straps. Staying on the front, one of the things for me being a big guy and I have pretty big hands is uh, some of the other packs I had, I couldn't get my hands into the waist belt and it was very frustrating. Um, this one has very big, big pockets. I keep in the right pocket, I keep my tripod that I'm using right now to film with that holds my camera and my little stick pick in here and a few other things in there. Uh, and this one, I actually keep my, uh, my iPod shuffle for music, uh, some snacks in here and I also have a bag that's got um, um, like ibuprofen and just kind of things for like medicine kind of stuff. I just keep it close in case I need it. So yeah, but I really appreciate the size, large size pockets on this. Okay, so turning this around on the back, I really, really appreciate this big stretchy pocket in the back. Um, holds a ton of stuff. Got something in there now. Let's see what we got in here. Got my deuce of spades here, of course, and toilet paper. Always have that in here. 
but I really like this. It holds a lot of stuff. I keep things that I need to get quick access to. Uh, one of the things I keep is my, my Tyvek or ground sheet from my tent because uh, I generally pack my tent somewhere near the top because you never know if you're going to have bad weather and um, need to set up your tent fast. So I have my ground sheet so that when I get to a campsite, I can lay my claim and get my ground sheet on the ground fast. So I have that back here and you saw my deuce of spades for going to the bathroom. Uh, I have my water filter back here. I have a first aid kit back here and I rotate this depending on the day. You know, it could be a rainy day. I might throw my rain jacket or rain pants in here, but just keep things for easy act. Oh, and a, and a snack. So a little, I carry a little daily bag and, you know, because I have a certain amount of food for each day, I'll put all my snacks in a separate little, uh, like zip lock or something and just keep them back here so they're easy to access when I when I sit down on the side of the trail and I'm gonna take a snack I don't want to have to dig in my pack which is something I learned over time another thing I really liked about my pack are these strings that I think a lot of packs come with this is you can uh, pull this tight or loosen depending on how much stuff you have in here one of the things that I do that especially um, when I'm on a longer trip I don't really do it for shorter trips but um, on my through hike attempt um, I carry very large baby pins or bobby pins whatever you call them or baby pins and um, so what I would try to do is if I was near a water source each day, like at the camp, I would rinse out my socks and, and they'd be a little dirty, but mostly dusty, but I'd rinse them out and scrub them a little bit just on themselves. And then I'd pin them on my pack the next morning and put my, and I'd have two pair in rotation. So I put a clean pair on or semi clean. And then I put the uh, ones on my pack to dry. It could be anything too, and hang them on my pack to dry. And it was a great way to just hike and not worry about it. But the big pins are what works, for, they're like diaper pins. So I really like that about this pack. So I also like that this has very big water bottle holders on the side. Um, this can hold two water bottles, but what I did was I kind of had this epiphany right for my hike. I was carrying four one liter bottles plus the one on my chest. And what I, what I decided to do was instead of four one liters, carry two one and a half liters to two bigger ones. That's three liters. And it creates uh, open space for like, I put my ZC pad in here and I, it got things out of my pack and, and the things that I grab on an everyday, all the time basis when I'm hiking, like my ZC pad and other things, I sometimes put my kit, cook kit on this other side and another bottle, but that gave me three liters here and this made four here. So that was plenty for most normal carries between water sources. Then I would use my bag for my water filter to, to be, it's also three liters would hold a lot more water if I needed it to. So I would use that if I had excess, which I had a couple times where I had to carry six, seven liters, which times every liter is 2.2 pounds. You can imagine how heavy that adds to your pack, but sometimes you have to do it to survive. So um, yeah, I really like the size of these, these pockets. Okay, so flipping this around, one thing I did custom, uh, when I sent back to get my PCT pass sewn on, I also paid them, uh, and they had never done it before, so I take pride in, and I came with this idea, but I didn't know it was doable. And when I talked to this customer service guy, Chris, he said they couldn't do it. But when I talked to the repairs and returns place, um, they said he would try to do it. He said there was a strong seam in the bag. And so what I was concerned with is this pack comes with one strap. When you do, you roll down your thing and you put this on here. This holds technically a bear canister too, like this. You put a bear canister, roll it down on top. And I was concerned with a pack, um, with only one strap and having the weight of a bear canister like in the Sierras that it would just it would just topple off. It's not enough strength to hold on. I said I'd like to have a strap on either side to support the middle strap. And like I said, the customer service said they don't do that. They had never done it. But the uh, repairs and returns department guy said, yeah, I think we could do that. So that's what he did for me. And I'm the first one to ever have this. And I think they're still doing it. My buddy uh, Robert had it done too when he got his pack. But uh, they basically sewed on these two female clips like right here, if you can see that, I hope you can see that. And on the other side is the two male clips. Um, let me see if I can show you that, right here. So these are on there all the time. So it does add about an ounce to my pack when I, when I don't have my canister. But what this did was they gave me, basically if you can see that, they gave me a strap. They went, these two straps, it was long enough to go around a bear canister and they just clip in so they're removable. So uh, when I'm normally backpacking, these just hang on here, but I don't have anything, of course, uh, I don't have a canister, but when I went to the Sierras like last September to do, um, I did the, the Thousand Island Lake, Garnet Lake, Ediza Lake loop for three days. I had to have my canister, canister and it worked beautifully, by the way, full of weight. So um, what I like is it's removable. I don't have to carry it all the time. So I have the straps in my canister right now. I just keep them there so I don't forget them. But uh, that's a great additive that I had done. It only cost me, I want to say like 15 bucks. I, I don't remember actually, but I think it was like 15 bucks. So I really like that. something I added. And I just like the, the overall feel and comfort of this pack. It's not the lightest one, it's not the heaviest one. I know that in um, 2019 survey, the gear, I'm pretty sure the ULA circuit was number one. I said in the past that it was the number one in the last five years, but I think it's been um, 
in the top two or three the last uh, five or six years, but it might not be number one, but it's very, very popular pack out there. Um, and it's kind of an alternative to maybe not a heavier like Osprey or something, This and it's not ultralight, it's not heavier, so I think it's a good uh, middle ground weight at 41 ounces. Okay, a couple things really quick, and we'll end this video that I don't uh, really like that much, but I've gotten used to, and one is that some of the ultralight packs have a curve vent with a mesh uh, against your back, so you create space to create airflow behind your back. This is very padded and comfortable. This is very soft and comfortable on my back, but it is like wearing a sweater on your back. And I'm not a big sweater by nature, but uh, when you're hiking like 15, 20 miles a day, and you know, in the Sierras or wherever, you do sweat. And um, this gets really, really hot on your back. It just, I'm used to it. Uh, it's comfortable. That padding helps not feel any pokey things inside your pack hitting your back. But I'm telling you, it can get really, really hot. So I would appreciate it, maybe a, a future design where there's some curve to it to create some air behind there. But like I said, I've kind of got used to it. Um, and the last thing I'll say, and this is this is true with every pack, not ULA, but man, I mean, I wish they could, I mean, any of us who could invent it would become rich on backpacks so to figure out a zipping system that you could get in, in and out of your packs. It seems to unzip fine, but when, you're, when you have it on your waist and you have it full of stuff, I can never with one hand just zip, like when I'm hiking, I can never just zip up my pack. I have to put my poles under my arm and do this and like wrangle this zipper to be tight. So that's my only complaint and it's not ULA, it's all packs. Uh, at least this one has big pockets that I can fit my cell phone or lots of things, snacks in there. So that's probably my only complaint, but um, let me know, do you have a ULA pack? What do you have? If you don't, what pack do you have and why do you like it? And do you have any, uh, any alternatives to this? Uh, I may go with, I think it's the Ohm, it's this pack, but basically smaller because my stuff's getting lighter and smaller. So I may go to that eventually, but I was gonna buy a new pack for the remainder of my through hike, but uh, this pack's fine. I love it. There's nothing wrong with this. There's no reason to buy it. Just just to buy something to feel good. So I'm going to use this at least on the next stretch of my PCT and see how it goes. Um, like I said, I'm slated for June 20th and I'm going with this pack. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get the hike at all. Get to hike the rest of the 1,750 miles I have or I may just do the Sierras or may do nothing. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, so that's that's my review and my thoughts on the pack. I hope you enjoy that. And let me know what you think. And uh, I'm also looking for some other ideas right now since uh, we got this virus going. If you got some ideas for videos you'd like me to do or something, whether you have a question for my Q&As or you want to see a video, let me know. I'm open to whatever. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, see you down the trail.